All right, welcome to another piece of the class. It's still your normal facilitator, a to be Joshua Ruben. And uh, I just want to show you how to apply your doors and your windows. How to apply your what? Your doors and your windows. Okay, so these are simple bungalow no doors no windows nothing nothing and as you can see it's not even looking beautiful nothing nothing it's just dormant so let's give life to the design okay now now if you want to apply your windows you're not going to go uh, into selecting any level okay your windows and your doors should be on your ground floor level okay take note of that don't go and and put your window at parapet level or at the natural ground level it's always at the world at the ground floor level so now if you look at the right top hand side of your interface you see window you see you see door you see window under architecture menu bar now you pick the window okay you want to put window first now when you click on your window oh, let me save let me save first I'll save later okay so when you click on your windows you see different type of windows now these are the default windows that uh revit has this holocon window okay so let's let me take for instance i pick this window and i apply it here Let's view it in 3D. Um, you see, the window is actually not that too or beautiful. It's just a glass window. So let me delete it and show you how you can actually locate your window. The very beautiful, beautiful windows. So now, for you to actually locate your windows, you must have what we call a Revit component. Revit component is just a file. Okay? You must have it in your system let me show you uh, where my own is i think it's at the interface yes look at it here revit component now you can see ac you can see new component if you click on it once we go to revit if you click on all of these things they will show you uh, the pictures okay so now let's go back to our revit now i want to look at that file Okay, we want to locate that file and get our window. So you come to this component and you drop it. You tell him place a what component. Or either way, you can just pick your window. Okay, then you say load window. Load window here. You click on it. Okay, then you go to the file. That component file I showed you is on the desktop. Okay. So you check Revit component, Revit component, Revit component. Okay, Revit component 27. I have then different type uh, Revit material, Revit component. Okay. So whichever one we want to use, you click on it. So it will take you to the component. Okay, so you enter this assorted component. Look for your windows. Yes these are casement different type of windows so we we'll pick a casement window okay we're going to pick a what a casement window it's supposed to be displaying here but i don't know okay let's change it like this all right so you pick a window you want to use the window you want to use whichever one you want to use you pick it you double click on it press ok so now after picking the window it's still loading after picking the window it's still loading here so you see it yes good it has changed here so you will now go to this edit type remember i told you your properties bar is for editing of your component so you press edit type to edit the weight and the height of your window so now this is the weight of the window you edit it okay is 1200 window 
the height of your window of course is one two is there already so you can actually rename this window okay you can tell or give it a name uh window 1200 okay you press okay then you press okay then now you can actually go to the walls and drop your window okay by the wall side you drop your window drop your window press escape drop your window press escape uh, this is a kitchen let me just place the window here and this is our living room drop it drop it and drop it okay you're supposed to have one window here fine so let's view our windows in 3d fine Woo. so can you see can you see how the windows are giving life to the design with immediate effect okay so now assuming i want to use um one eight window in this dining in this dining what you do is you're going to click on this uh, window and go to edit type okay so then you now tell him duplicate because you want to use a different dimension of what window so you duplicate it and name it window one five one thousand five hundred one thousand five hundred window 1500 okay you okay it okay so you you go to the width and change it to 1500 window the width 1000 what 500 window the height still remain of course one and uh, two so you okay it so you can see it has increased now another thing that you need to do is to give all the windows their seal height okay click on the window and press um, and press select all instances so that it will select all the windows at once okay then you enter your seal height your seal height is the height from this ground floor here to this part of the window okay so it's exactly what 900 okay so when i come to apply windows uh, at the at the wc okay i will show you the difference of this seal height so the seal height is 900 which is correct so you leave it so now you want to apply your window to your um wc window so you go back to window okay since it's still on this casement window you enter it enter edit type duplicate it and write 600 window window 600 okay then your width of the window should be what 600 height of the window 600 you press enter you press ok then you drop it can you see your window there now this seal height let's check it at the 3d now you can see it's not at the same level with others did you see it it's not at the same level which is wrong so you click on this window and change your seal height to 1500 that's from this ground to this place you see it has gone up 1000 you can see is at the right position so you can see all your windows are intact all your windows are intact now you want to apply your doors it's the same process as the window the same process as the window now if you if you can see you can actually view the window here but it's there just forget it that's because of the type of window we use okay so there are some windows that we actually show but this one because it's very small it won't display here so just leave it like that it's not as if you're wrong okay so now you go to doors again then you load okay go to desktop 
and look for Revit component. Okay, Revit component. Um, here are doors. Okay, there are different type of doors. Okay, let me use um, double double door double door let me use this door okay it's displaying here so you open it so it's still loading let's give it some time as it loads okay it has come up so you now go to edit type and edit the door okay edit the door the width of the door should be 1200 is an entrance door then the height of the door you look for the height here's the height uh 1000 2000 sorry 100 okay then you rename it to what to door uh 1200 okay so you press ok and you come here and you place your door okay now you know of course we can't use this door for for this and this we can't use this door for this and this uh, for our rooms so you click on doors again go to load family desktop then you go to revit component um, revit library you go to your doors okay so you look for internal doors okay there's a very sweet one you click on it the same process is loading once it load you see it here fine then you edit it too edit it this one doesn't need any editing of seal height okay so it's just your width and your height so the width of the door is 900 the height of course 2100 you press ok then you place your doors accordingly ok if you want to rotate it to the wall just press your shift bar it will rotate ok ok so let's assume also we have a door here in the kitchen then we also have another door set up ok so you drop so we also want to give uh, the door to the what to the toilet you come back edit it but you have to duplicate first if not if you change all those other doors you duplicate it to 750 door okay 750 door then you go to your width and change it to 750 okay the height of course 2100 you press ok then you drop it fine so you, let's view it in our 3d wow you can see the doors can you see it you can see the doors we apply now i know the question that will be going through your mind is how are we going to make an opening here how are we going to make an opening in the dining okay so let me just round it up by that section so now let's go back to our floor plan we're still on ground floor don't forget so we want to make an opening here the first thing you're going to do is to pick your section line which is very close to your 3d um, box menu so you pick your section line and cut section through where you want to view you turn the section line to face this side okay don't forget it's facing this side now so you click on the section line and left right click you see go to view so you view it you press here is the wall so you press the wall edit profile just like i showed you how to open uh your entrance wall did you see it then you pick your line and connect let's assume and connect this trim it okay so let's go back yes can you see it? 
So the same thing also you have to do here. Delete this section line, pick another section line and cut through. Let it view that side. Then you right click, go to view, pick the wall, edit type, then you drag this wall to a particular level you want. You pick it 2700. You drop it here, drop it here, drop it here. Of course, you know this is the wall of the kitchen. So you have to just cover this space just to give your design. You know you are an architect, so you know what to do there. So you finish it up. Okay. So let's go back and see. Uh oh. You see we we over entered. So you are you must view it back. Okay. Fine. This is where we are supposed to stop. So we over enter. You can actually drag with this arrow like this okay so you finish it off yes so can you see if you want it to project a little bit you can as well go back again click on the wall edit type then you press on that particular wall line then you drop it so you see there's a little projection now don't mind Revit. yes Yes, so can you see a little projection okay so you delete the section line and you're done let's view in 3d you do see the openings internal openings okay can you see it? so your model is set for the roof so I'm going to take you through the next class which of course is how to create the concrete parapet and the roof Thank you, Chess. I still remain your boy. It will be Joshua Ruben. Thank you so much. Love you.